Oh shit. <laughs> What is up, everybody? It's Gristle back again for another episode of Journey into Anime with me, Gristle. And we're on episode four of Death Note. Episode four, and I still have no idea where this story is going to go. Last episode, we had we found out the big bombshell that um, Light's dad is the police chief, the one who's in charge of this whole investigation, or second in charge after L. And then you had, when you found that out, you found out also that Light was stealing police files to learn more about, you know, the investigation and so he could duck under it. But then also he did stuff to purposely turn L and the police against each other, which is starting to happen. So, and then you got some weird character following Light. I don't know who it is. At first I thought it was L's henchman who carries the laptop around, but I don't think it is. It's somebody else. And I'm really excited to get into this episode. If you like all my anime episodes, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can get it up to 80 likes. And uh, yeah, let's get into this episode. Boo! I'm curious to see if some of the police department starts falling out more so like those first three do or more stuff starts getting thrown back at L as far as why he's not coming out behind his computer and more kind of that drama to see how that plays out. The destruction or the kind of dismantling of this police department and L and just how that's going to play out because... I think we just saw the beginning of it last week, so, or not last week, in last episode. I guarantee you Light takes the deal with Ryuk, like instantly, because he's just that mental right now about wanting to succeed. Pursuit. Ryuk's got two death notes. Oh, shit. Wow. I thought he was going to take it right, right away. Where's that guy? First, I need to know exactly how far I can go in terms of specifying the details of death. It should be interesting. How's he going to do? Following morning. Oh. Oh, that's weird. What is it, Wondery? And these results are just as I expected. The death note will work for what I have in mind. What do you mean by that? Taxi trying to escaped and ran into the bathroom I had specified in the death. What are you? How's he doing? Hmm. This is a weird episode. I'll be done with my surveillance today, and that'll be it. Who the hell is that guy? Oh, here's that dude. It's him. What's he gonna do? Seven passengers, excluding him. No one's in the way. Everything should go smoothly. Oh shit! Oh shit! <gasps> Attack! Here's my proof. Take a look. Oh shit! FBI. I see. His name is Ray Penber. Oh shit! I trust you. And I get going. Don't mess with me. How long have you been hiding back there? Oh shit. So you mean you can actually see me right now? Stay down, you! Keep away from me, you This isn't good. He's hallucinating. Oh, I get it. That little note that Mike accidentally dropped was actually 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh shit. Oh damn. Wow. That was freaking wild. Oh sh Oh shit. God that ended That ended like it was a slow episode, but it freaking ended nice. Nice. Alright guys, that was that was I'm not gonna lie, that was sort of a slow episode, but you got 37 episodes of this show. You got to have like story building or um, just episodes that tell you something that is going to end up helping later on down the road. And that's what this was. You learned about a specific way that Light was going to use or try to use the Death Note and seeing how it worked out and how everything goes to how he plans or whatever. So that's what this episode was. I mean, 75 to 80% of it was just learning about him learning about the death note so you know i didn't hate it it wasn't it was just slow had a big climax at the end so that was good at least it wasn't boring or anything it was it was interesting more so than anything else the one i got all my notes in my own little death note here as always i go back and watch the episode uh to get notes so I, the original viewing is my reaction um the first thing i have on my notes here is in the shinigami realm the other shinigami were talking about how ryuk has two death notes now were they talking about like because there's i think it was in the first episode when um light first met Ryu, he said something and he had his own little death note there. Were they talking about the death note like Light has and then the death note Ryuk was carrying? Or is there another one, another secret one that they were talking about? I don't know. That's interesting. Like if there's another one that Ryuk can give somebody else, that could make for a real interesting uh, interesting thing there. But let me know down, down below if I'm totally wrong there. If it's just the one he's carrying plus Light. I mean, that'd be two death notes right there, but I don't know. I'm just trying to think ahead of time. Now, I could almost, I was almost positive going into that this episode that Light was going to take that deal that Ryuk was giving him. There again, the way Light explained why he wasn't taking the deal to get the um, Shinigami eyes made a lot of sense, even though it was kind of crazy because he's talking about, if I'm going to make this place good for everybody and I'm going to be the god of this place, I want to be as l around as long as possible. So he still is wanting to become a god, which you're not supposed to do i mean that's just that's just craziness in your mind talking you know you're not a god you're a, even though you do have this power with the death note you don't create life you're just taking it away and a god does both so you're not actually a god but in your mind you're thinking it which like i said that's the first signs of craziness um in in my opinion another thing i thought was interesting ha is how ryuk was um, talking about how he's not getting any respect from Light. You know, how people in the past have, you know, they always give the Shinigami, like, they show fear towards the Shinigami or they show just uh, respect. And he's like, he's not getting that from Light. And um, it's, I don't know if it, I can't tell if it's annoying Ryuk or it's just like interesting to him. I got that he was annoyed, but I might be wrong. It made it seem like he was talking about Ryu was, you know, you were hearing the voices in his head and he was talking about there being something else he should tell him, but kind of like he wasn't going to because he was annoyed. So I'm really interested in, interested in seeing what that something is. And I'm sure it's going to come and be a bombshell. But uh, I can't wait to see because I think Ryuk's holding something back just because he's not getting the respect he thinks he, he deserves. Now the whole... The whole testing aspect of the Death Note was was really, really interesting because I didn't know what the hell he was doing at first. And it was really cool how everything went out. And I didn't, I couldn't tell right at the beginning. Well, nobody was really supposed to. You're not supposed to until a light describes it. 
um, what the whole plan was. But I thought it was really cool how he was testing the parameters and seeing how, not firsthand, because he had to get it through the FBI files or the police files, which I'll talk about in a second. You know, seeing how he would write un undoable things pretty much down to see, you know, as a test to see what would happen in order to use that in the future, which I thought was cool. Cause at first when I saw him, I was like, why a pentagram? You know, why, you know, this letter and why did he have a guy run into the bathroom? But then you hear, you come to find out, no, he was trying to see, okay, if I tell a guy, you know, die in front of the Eiffel tower, which he po no, there's no possible way he can get to. I want to see what happens. You know, I want to have a guy draw a picture of Elle's face. You know, but was, that's the weird thing. He said he wanted to have a person draw a picture of Elle's face, but yet in the death note, he had a pentagram. So I don't know what that meant. I was confused about that because there was the pentagram in the death note. But then he also said he had him draw Elle's face. So if somebody knows what that means or if there was a lost in translation as far as in, in the video, let me know down below why he had the pentagram in the death note, but he said... L's face so let me know down below because I was kind of confused about that part and then the whole letter like I said it was all about what he said he can control the people's actions maybe not exactly what they do with those actions but he can control them actions and I thought that was cool but the one thing was like when L was actually looking at the evidence he spotted at the top of the um at the top of the letter all the letters lined up and it says L do you know so I wonder if I wonder if somehow it got through in the the letter and unconsciously the guy was writing and that came out that way because that's really cool if that happened and like wild it's <laughs> just wild man I, I actually I didn't catch that the first time I watched it I didn't catch it till I was writing down my notes that the whole L do you know thing came up so I thought that was really freaking cool. And I don't think L knows, or I don't think Light even knows that that happened. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this because L can always flip stuff around and make it go against what Light was trying to do. So it'll be interesting to see in the next episode if somehow he uses that as a play against Light. Now the whole thing where L was like at the beginning, L was t telling the police task force to like not release those pictures um to the public now i was kind of confused about that because he already knows that or he thinks that a student or uh, not a student but a person that has ties to the police force are using these files well, i guess okay it's not confusing because then if somehow light or akira makes it spill spills out that he got this information then he will definitely know that the police so there again i think it's l now second guessing the police Kind of like the police were second guessing L in last episode. I guess it makes sense. Sorry, I think I bumped the mic there. So it does make sense. Okay, at first I was just like, why is he doing that? Because he already thinks that somebody has police ties that gets into the files anyway. So not releasing to the public isn't going to do anything. But I guess it will because it'll narrow the field. But there again, like I said, there's L second guessing the police, which is really cool because it is. <laughs> Now we find out in this episode that the person following Light is an FBI, FBI agent. And then you find out from him talking um, to himself uh, that this is going to be the final days following Light. Now that can be really fucked up because at the end of this whole episode, Light was like that Ray Pember. You know, he's like, Ray Pember, you're going to be next. Now that could really fuck over light big time because this guy after today was going to leave light alone because he had no evidence to you know associate light with kira if he goes and he's getting ready to end his stuff and his investigation on light then all of a sudden boom light kills him then all of a sudden boom lights thrust into the forefront of everything so i think that could be a big bad mistake for light to kill ray pember right now now the whole plan on the bus, that whole thing was, was, oh my God. At first I was like, okay, it's kind of whatever. He's, he's just having the guy hold up the bus and whatever. But like when he made the guy pick up the note and it ended up being, which is cool because the pages of the book, pages of the death note don't have to be inside the death note for them to work. That is a real big, you know, bombshell there knowing that it doesn't have to be in the actual death note for them to work. So that's... That's a, a cool thing going forward that we know. 
to, you know, at first, like I said, the plan was like, okay, it's kind of generic, you know, this, that, and the other. He's having him rob the bus, and then he's going to die. But how he made the guy go crazy or made him look like he was going crazy by having him touch that note and seeing Ryuk, that was genius. Like, that was something I never thought of because when I saw it starting to go down, I honestly thought, okay, like I told you. This is generic. Then when they had that happen, that's when it was like, okay, that just fucking did a 180 on me. And like, now it's interesting. And so, you know, that whole thing was, was cool. And he found out, you know, how he can manipulate everything and everything like that. So, but then he also found out the FBI's name. So he did two things in one, in one take. And like I said, he found out that FBI's name. And now, like I said, he's thinking about killing the FBI uh Ray Pember but I think that's a bad idea for him. I don't I really don't think he should, but he doesn't know that this was going to be Ray Pember's last day following him. So, you know, he's got that going for him because he thinks maybe he's going to be following him forever. So, you know, that's why he's going to do it, but man, it's going to really fuck shit up because it's really going to put a spotlight on him at that point. So, I don't know. I don't know where that's going to go. Anyways, like I said, this this episode was kind of slow, but you're going to have this. This is a 37 episode series. You're going to have episodes that are slow that are going to make more sense in the future parts of, of the show. So I don't mind that. That happens in Walking Dead a lot of the times. There's slow episodes and people say, oh, this fucking sucked. No, they don't. They're story building episodes and I get that. Unfortunately, there wasn't much for me to react to. So the reaction segment of this video was very short. And I apologize, but it would have just been me staring at the video the whole time. That's not fun. Um, so, but if you like this video, please hit that like button. Share everywhere you can. Help this video get out there to the masses. As always, people, I love you guys. Peace, love, and rock and roll. I don't know why I just said that, but it's whatever. Peace. <laughs> I'm stupid.